Raise your hand if you're a baby boomer. Not sure? Were you born between 1946 and 1964? Then the answer is yes, you are a baby boomer. Your generation is 77 million strong. We had never seen such a boom in the birth rate till we got to the baby boom. Hi, my name is Megan Johnson. I am a professional speaker and generational humorist. I talk about the ever-changing generational workforce and the marketplace we are experiencing today. Boy, it used to be all about the baby boomers, but since the millennials have come on board, we seem to have forgotten about the baby boomers, and that is a mistake. When I ask millennials what do they struggle with when they work with baby boomers, a common complaint or comment is that baby boomers resist technology. In fact, one millennial recently told me, the baby boomer will call you to tell you they sent you an email and advise you to print that email. Well, you know, we give a baby boomers a lot of grief about technology, and it's not really 100% accurate because I would probably guess that most of the baby boomers watching this video use technology. In fact, I always point out to my audiences, especially if I have lots of millennials, I tell them, you know, you might not know this little secret about baby boomers, but baby boomers were the very first iPhone users. Yes, baby boomers had iPhones before anybody. Here's the generational difference when it comes to mini baby boomers and what I refer to as early adapters of technology. Baby boomers, or people who are resisting a new technology, the question you want to answer for them is, how will technology make my job or life easier? Don't tell me we're just getting new technology because it has a better ringtone but how will technology make my job or life easier? If you're an early adapter to technology and you're introducing a new technology to your team and you have people resisting that new technology, ask yourself how you're gonna answer that question. Here's two things you can do. First thing is train technology one-on-one. -on -one. We often use technology to train technology and that's great for people who are early adapters to technology, but when you have somebody who is a slow adapter, you want to train them one-on-one. -on -one. When we tell someone, go watch a YouTube video to learn how to use this new technology, that's a frustrating experience because that new technology never works the way it does in that YouTube video. Train them one-on-one. -on -one. Second thing is you want to check back in with them no more than 10 days later because what happens for that new user is the technology doesn't work like it should or there's a frustration or a hiccup. And that person using the new technology thinks, you know what, this new technology it's not making my job or life easier, it's making my job or life harder. So I'm going to go back to the old ways of doing things. So check back in with that person no more than 10 day, days later and help them through that adaptation process. Once that person learns how the technology will make their job or life easier, I think you will see them more eagerly embrace the new technology. They may never sing from the mountaintops how much they love that technology, but your goal is that they embrace that technology and use it to, again, to make their job and life easier and also make your, your organizations and associations more successful. Thank you again. I'm Megan Johnson. I look forward to seeing you next week when we further discuss the ever-changing generations and the fun challenges they bring to our lives every day. Bye-bye.